WECL.com. Jason Aldean and Big Green Tractor on the Weasel. One of my uh, newest friends on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Katie is here from Pet Helpers on Folly Road. How are you today? I'm fine. Thanks for accepting my friendship. Oh, any time. <laughs> you mean Katie the troublemaker? Yeah, that's her. I'm not a troublemaker. I build bridges between, between communities with differing views. By the way, that that is uh, quite a page you're developing there uh, at PetHelpers.org. I am. I'm collecting pictures of cat women of Charleston, in case you haven't heard. So mm. if anybody out there would like to send me a photo, uh, lovely ladies of the low country, of you and your cat, or cats, mm-hmm. singular or plural, I would love to put you up there uh, on our webpage. And you can check it out at PetHelpers.org. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some pretty amazing cat ladies on there already. <laughs> I've seen I'll them. tell you that right now. Uh, <laughs> Katie's with us this morning, and as always, she brings some, some of the most interesting animals with her. This one is uh, very sheepish. Very pretty yeah. dog, but very sheepish. He's a little bit shy, but he does warm up to you. I can tell you that from seeing him at the shelter. But he's definitely not showing his true colors here in the studio. Okay. His okay. name is Jackie, and we think that he's a shepherd mix. He kind of has a short coll- collie length fur yep. and has kind of um, almost Rottweiler markings with the, the brown eyebrows and the you know brown legs, a little brown on the muzzle. And he's got the soft collie hair. It's not that coarser right. shepherd yeah, right. hair. He really... Uh, right. Is a mix of, of uh, animals. Who knows? Who, Who knows? knows? But he is medium sized and has a very gentle disposition. Um, and came from a home with um, an elderly owner who has passed away. Mm-hmm. So he's starting again at six years old, um, but would love to go on walks with you, would love to hang out in your home, is already house trained, um, is no longer a chewing puppy. So. Yes, that's right. And he's lost right now. Yeah, yes. and that's exactly what he's, what he's feeling. And you can tell that when, he, when you tried to bring him in the room here, he just stopped because he wasn't sure of his surroundings, yes. but he still came in, and he's made friends with people in the room. He's just very timid or very, yes. very unsure of the of the surroundings. He takes his time, and he's probably still trying to figure out where his people are. Yeah, And since exactly. his people aren't around anymore, That's he's right. sort of on the lookout. Exactly. How long and have you had him? We've had him for a couple of weeks. Um, he had his quarantine period, and now he's out on the adoption floor. Good. Um, and he doesn't do too badly out there, but um, I felt like he needed a little extra Push, push. So I thought there I'd you bring go. him to meet you guys. That That's always helps great. us. He's a beautiful animal. He's got the markings of a, a shepherd. Yeah. Uh, with uh, those spots over his eyes, the black and 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 I don't know what is that copper or gold. Yeah. Tan. Uh, just tan. Mauve, yeah. Beautiful coral. animal. <laughs> And he's Start throwing pink words out there. <laughs> he's ready to go. He somebody to somebody go. come get him. Be gentle and take your time, and this will be a good friend. A great companion. Absolutely. Uh, what what else you guys have going on at the um, at Pet Helpers well, this week? Well, we are part of an adoptathon this weekend that yep. you've probably heard about also from Charleston Animal Society. There will be lots of area rescues there, uh, mm. including Pet Helpers. It is today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Somerville Pet Smart. Um, and it's an all-day thing. There will be tons of dogs and cats out there, all of them adoptable and rescued animals. Um, all of the cat adoptions are $65, and the dogs are variable depending on the rescue. But um, with I think with all the rescues, definitely with pet helpers and Charleston Animal mm-hmm. Society, you're getting your spay-neuter surgery, your vaccines, your microchip, sure. all of that's included. Um, it's going to be a great place this weekend to meet some dogs, especially if you're not you know, down in James Island where we are. Um, this is a completely different location, so come sure. on over. Come and that's on over today to through Mart. Sunday, right? Yes. Cool. Yes, today through that, Sunday. That's great. And I was uh, next weekend, if I'm not mistaken, is it next weekend you have your uh, vaccine and microchip clinic, right? Yes. Down at uh, Tractor Supply. In Ravenel. Yeah, that's, yes. a, that's a great place down there. That's right. Yeah. We're doing discounted uh, vaccines, both rabies and distemper for cats and dogs and microchips. Um, and last time we were out there for an adoption event, we met a lot of great people that were really interested in coming out for the chips. Cool. And, you know, it's a really simple, fast thing to do. It's not a surgery. The microchip's mm-hmm. like an injection as well Mm -hmm. Um, and you can't beat it for the prices so come and see us want to find out more about it uh, pethelpers.org go to our page wezl.com morning crew page and click on pound puppies or just stop by be the thing to do over on folly road stop by pet helpers and look around i'll show you around there you go go. (laughs) Uh, maybe you want to get involved spend a little time walking some animals cleaning some cages uh, doing whatever needs to be done. Uh, or go. maybe you want to take this little fella home with you today. He's ready to go home with somebody. Oh, he needs a home, too. You, you, <laughs> we got to get Jackie a home today. What a great dog. Check him out online at wecl.com, the morning crew page. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Thanks for having Katie. Us. See ya.